Hello everyone, TK here, bringing an episode of Wrath Unleashed. This is going to be the last mission for Apothos' storyline, number four. The Might of Apothos. Let's jump right into it. I think it's a 2v2 match. I think I'm with Aina. Aina. I should totally say their names right. I totally mispronounced, like, majority of them, but whatever. We'll pretend I say it right. Servants of darkness, you will not desecrate the temple. Nor will you lay claim to the throne of Gaia. How can I desecrate what is rightfully mine? You are not fit to rule, Epothos. And Aina is destined only to be my queen. This temple will be your tomb. Player one. To be fair, I kind of feel bad for Alamas and uh, Durlock because they love two people that absolutely hate them. And the only other options they have are their siblings. Like, you know, you really couldn't make it worse. Can't be much worse. It can't be worse of a situation. Player two. Player three. Player four. Please attack the damn Cyclops. Player four. Player one. Good first start. Let's see how this goes. Also, I forgot to put my control on, but I'll put it on after this battle. It sort of seemed like, uh, <laughs> it was holding back for some reason. The amount of times that I hit it and it could have done a combo and they just said the one Player swing three. was ridiculous, but I guess as long as the victory happens. Player four. Player one. Okay, that's weird. If he can somehow get past the llamas, I doubt he can. But if there's like a weird glitch where just for a half second he could, oh. This is not gonna be good. I'm not good with the Juggernaut Adept, and uh, this is an advantage for Archdemon. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Fight. Player 
There we go. I honestly didn't expect it to go so well, but we'll take the win. His attack is so slow, though. Dude, that's that actually could be game if you literally could just walk and get that temple. If you're able to get that temple and you're throwing, I'm gonna be tilted. It literally can. Oh my god. Are, are they small temples? How do I not get the chance to attack it? Player two. I don't think I can beat the Cyclops here. If I can, though, that's going to be a hell of a play, but... I think that's wishful thinking. Wow. It works. So far, we're playing pretty strong. Now, I thought we had double temples, but we don't. We just have regular, like, tiny ones. So. Player four. But the fact that he's not taking the damn temple is straight throwing. Player one. <laughs> Like, I should get an easy win here. Then Halamis may have to come fight me. And then they should just take the temple. Fight. <laughs> God. It works, but it's annoying. Incredibly annoying why it does that. We just get pretty much stuck in an animation of it constantly Player damaging two. us. Player two has wrath. Fair enough. She could still reach it though, Player can three. she not? Come on, please take it. Alright, there we go. Cool. Easy. Players one and three. Victorious. Just that easy, right? The light has overcome the darkness. Come, I join me in the temple. This is but an illusion, Fire Lord. Enjoy this mockery while it lasts. So kind. Big dubs. I don't always say that. It's so weird. Was my glory too great? Does a daring gulf even Gaia? 
I pity those who can test me. He pities them. He definitely pities them. But all right. That went pretty well. Very smooth. Usually team battles go relatively well. Um, but yeah. I don't think we lost any units in the past three episodes. Which is absolutely crazy. But all right. We have now unlocked God version of Apothos. We can see on the top left. And the next one is going to be Duralock. Which is actually the hardest campaign. So we'll see how I do. I played a lot of Duralock especially in the previous episodes, not the campaign ones before that. So we'll see how that's going to go. But with that, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.